What is the question? They got sister, you got a question? Sis! Brother! Sister, you got a question? Yeah, you got a question? Brother, you got a question? If you got a question, just say you question. Don't stay in the sideline talking. We here for our people. If you got a question, ask you question. Sister, sister. Don't be, don't, 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 be saved if they believe in Christ and she's agreeing with him. No, what I said, no, I did not say that. No, I did not say that. I said that the Bible says in the New Testament that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever should believe in him should have everlasting life. That's what I said. Okay, we're going to be there right now. That's what I said. You all got to ask. The Bible explained. The Bible explained itself. All right. Now we're gonna get the understanding of John three sixteen. The scripture we just bring up. We're gonna get the understanding. Read that. John three verse sixteen. Read. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, sis, I got a question for you. Sis, you, I got a question for you. When Jesus made that statement. Who did Jesus was talking to? Damn. Come, come close, come close. This way you going to bite. Come close. Right, right, right. He was talking to the people who, who were not saved. He came to seek to save. He came to seek to save those that were lost. No, no, no. Listen to my question. When, he, was, when he, was he, was he was talking to me, he was talking to a person here. Who did he was talking to right here in that verse? Okay, yeah. I don't know. Stop right here. Read verse 1. John 3, verse 1. There was a man of I'm the Pharisees. I'm going to give you the understanding what Christ is talking about here. Read. John 3 verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Pharisees. You know that Pharisees was Israelite. The Pharisees, you got the Pharisees, the Sadducees. They were actually teachers of the law. They were Israelites. Right? Read. Named Nicodemus. Yeah. The, that brother's name was Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. Ruler of the Jews. So that's telling you right there. That's a proof that he was an Israelite. You following? He was a teacher of the law. Read. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. So now, <clears throat> this brother, let's say this brother Nicodemus, I'm Christ. This brother come to me by night. He's the teacher of the law. So now I'm having a conversation with that brother. That's what John 3.16 is a continued conversation Christ was having with that brother. You follow me? It's a very important you understand that history. You have to. Because churches jump, jump. Why don't John 3.16 without telling you what was going on? You are... Sis, sis, you have to understand what was going on. We follow it. So now, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go show you the understanding of John 16. Now, now you know that Christ was talking to a teacher of the law, to an Israelite. Now, we John 16 again. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world. God so we're gonna pick up that verse. Because the scripture said the Bible gotta read precept upon precept. Right? The Bible said, read that verse part again. For God so loved the world. God so loved the world. Who did God love? God so Hold on, hold on, hold on. God so loved. Now let's see who did God love. Give me that. You got that? Deuteronomy Read. 7 verse 8. Tell, tell her where you are. Deuteronomy 7 verse 8. Let's see who did God love. Read. But because the Lord loved you, and because he will keep the oath which he sworn unto his fathers, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Who did God deliver out of the land of Egypt? When God sent Moses to deliver, who did God send Moses to deliver out of the, okay, the, the land of Egypt? The Israelite, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who did God love? The Israelite. That's what God, who is God is talking here? Moses is talking to the Israelite. Moses is telling the Israelite, God loves you. Now, that's what I said. You got to have an understanding what Christ is talking about. You have to know those histories. A lot of churches, the reason they don't understand John 3, 16 is because they think that Christ is talking about his own mouth. Christ was teaching the law of Moses. That's what Christ was teaching. Keep that in mind. You have to know that history for you to understand what Christ is talking about. Go back to John 3, 16. John 3, verse 16. 
For God so loved the world. The world. What is the world that that's talking about? The world. We're going to show you what world God so loved. Remember, we, I will show you God so loved the Israelite. Now we're going to show you what world Christ is talking about. Because when we look at today, right? You got a lot of world. You got the sea world. That's right. You got the sport world. That's you right. got the entertainment world. That's right. What world did God love? We got to find out. What world God Jesus was so talking about? Remember, the key point, Jesus is talking to a Pharisees. To an Israelite. Keep that in mind. Okay. Hold on, hold on. John 18, verse 20. Keep that. Pay attention. John 18, verse 20. Read. Jesus answered and said, Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple whither the Jews always resort. Read that again so she can hear. She didn't hear that. Jesus answered him. I speak Who openly to the world. Jesus is, is referring to the Pharisees. Jesus said, I speak openly to the world. Jesus is going to tell you what world he's talking about. Read. Uh -huh. I ever taught in the synagogue. Uh -oh. Who was in the synagogue? <laughs> Who used to go to the synagogue? The Israelites, the Jews. Okay. And in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. Mm. Jesus is talking about the world of the Israelites. Right. right. Not right. the whole world. Right. I'm going to prove that further. Okay, that's Read John that. 18. You got to get the understanding. Did you say that was John 18? That was John 18. We're going to show you another one. Isaiah 45, verse 17. Read. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. That's the world right. is Israel without end. That's Why right. is the world without end? Because when the Israel are winning the world, there ain't going to be no end in their kingdom. That's That's right. Right. In our kingdom, there ain't going to be no world. There's going to be no end. When Christ comes back, we willing with Christ, that's going to be forever. That's why they say well with that end. Read that again. What well? The world of the Israelite. That's right. Read. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Hey, give me that scripture in uh, Hebrew about the world. Hebrew the 21. 21. No, no, no. Finish reading that. Didn't get that. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. World without end. What is the world without end? The Israelite. Because we know that the world of America is going to come to an end. Right. So what Christ is talking about? What the Bible is talking about here? The world of the Israelite. When Christ ruling with us, then going to be it's going to be forever. Right. So the right. kingdom of heaven is going to be forever. Right. That's why they say world without end. What is the world? The world of the Israelite. Right. I'm giving you an understanding. Keep that in mind. Now I'm going to show you something. Read, read what you got. Tell Hebrew, me where you at. Hebrew one verse one. Read. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Has, uh, sorry, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed here of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. The worlds with an S. Mm. Right. There's not only one world. Mm. World with an S. Right. Okay. So what is that proof? That proof right. to you More that Christ wasn't talking about the whole world. Christ was talking about singular, the world of the Israelites. Right. 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 There is right. many worlds. Amen. Okay, I'm going to write those things down. Go back right? to John 16 again. John hold on, hold on, sister, don't go yet. I'm going to give you the understanding of John 16. So next time, tomorrow when you go to church, those pastors bring John 16 so you know that they're lying. That's not what John 16 is talking about. Right. Go back. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the whosoever. Whosoever. Who is that whosoever? Is that whosoever mean anybody? No. Sister, that whosoever don't mean anybody. I'm going to show you. Read. Listen, listen to what the Bible said. I'm going to give you the understanding of whosoever. Read. Acts 2, verse 21. Acts 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Who? Ye men of Israel. Yes, the whosoever is the, the people of Israel. Right. The Israel. Right. 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 Read that again and tell where you at. Acts that's 2 the, verse the 21 is talking about the Israelite. And the whosoever is the Israelite. That's right. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel. You men of Israel. Hear these words. Hear these words. Okay. Christ was talking about to the brothers and sisters, the Israelites. Right. That's the whosoever. That's right. whatever I'm going to point to you one thing. Okay. Go back to John 15. I'm going to show you something that the pastors never do. Okay. Hold on. Read that from, read that from verse 14. I'm going to show you something. Remember God. I told you earlier? Remember I told you earlier? That conversation was the conversation Christ holding with the Israelite. Remember at the beginning of the conversation I said to you, Nicodemus was uh, the teacher of the law. He was the Israelite Christ was talking to. John 3, 16, the conversation Christ is having with him. I'm going to show you something. Number Start from, from three, 
14. We John 3, verse 14. 14. I'm going to start reading from verse 14. I'm going to show you what the church never pulled. What? We John 3, verse 14. Listen, listen good. And as Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. This is Christ speaking. Christ said the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. What is Christ talking about? That's what I tell you. You got to know that history. That's why you see churches don't understand the Old Testament. For you to understand the New Testament, you have to understand the Old Testament. That's right. That's a history. You got to understand that history. Read that again. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. My question to you is, what is Christ is talking about? Christ is telling Nicodemus. This is Nicodemus. I'm talking to Nicodemus. I say, Nicodemus, the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, is the same way the Son of Man is going to be lifted up. What is I'm talking about? Him rising up again from the dead? No. Do you remember what happened in the wilderness when Moses did with the of Israel? Do you remember that history? Well, I'm going to show you that history. The I'm going to read it for you. Hold on a minute. Read. You got it? Numbers 21. Let me show you what Christ is talking about. Then what Christ is talking about. Read. Okay. And the Lord sent fiery serpent among the people. The children of Israel was coming here sitting in the wilderness. God got mad. God sent serpent in the midst of them. Uh, Numbers 21 verse 5. And the people spake against God and against Moses. You see, they were sinning. They speak against God, so now there's a wake up. God's going to pay them back for that. Read. Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there was no bread, neither is there any water. And I was so loathed this light bread. So basically, they were complaining. They were murmuring against God and against Moses. Okay, that's when they the Red Sea. Okay, I know you had No, that's not what he's talking about, sis. That's, that's, that's not what he's talking about. The Red sea, right? they, they, that's only been happening. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm but I'm going to show you the history of what he's talking about. Read. And the Lord sent the fire the serpent the among the people, mm -hmm. and they bit the people, uh -huh. and much people of Israel died. Uh -huh. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us, and Moses prayed for the people. So now, they come to Moses and said, We are dying. I want you to pray to God for us so God can forgive us. So God is going to tell Moses to do something. Please. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. Make thee a fiery serpent. And set it up on a pole. And it shall come to pass that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. That's what God is talking about. A Remember, after Moses made the serpent, Moses put it on a pole. Moses put it up. God tell Moses, when the children of Israel look at the serpent, they're going to be healed. That's what God is talking about in verse 14, John 3, 14. John 3, Christ verse said, The 14. same way Moses lifted up the serpent, is the same way the son of man is going to lift it up. That history you got to know. Because why I said that, when churches is talking about John 3, 16, they just joke right on to John 3, 16. For you to understand John 16, you have to know what Christ is talking about. Because it's a conversation going on. Okay. Christ is quoting Moses, what happened in the wilderness. That's the understanding of John 3, 16. I hope you got that. I got that. All right. Right. All right. That's right.